welcome back. It has been a very long time since I made my first episode. And honestly, I don't know how it took me this long. I literally, I recorded a whole podcast episode, um, like about a little less than a month after I did that one, and I hated it, so I deleted it. Um, and also, like, the editing thing that I was using was, like, taking, like, way too long to edit it with, and it was just screwing everything up, so I ended up deleting the whole episode, and then here we are. But anyways, the important thing is that we're back, and today we're going to be talking all about coffee and caffeine, but before we get to that, we have to talk about the um, the segments that um, people submitted in December. So, here we go. Okay, and also, by the way, um, the sound quality has to be so much better now because I do not have a microphone, but I have my cord earbuds, which have like the little microphone thingy on the side, so that's what I'm using. Anyways, so here are the responses for the first episode from December. Anyways, here we go. Okay, um, Break My Stride. I love you, baby. Waiting Room by Phoebe, of course. Also, Cased Must... I'm assuming that's Christmas. Christmas Song by her, too. Also, she released a Christmas EP, so you should listen to that whole thing. Um, okay. A Goom Boogum Song. I 100 billion percent agree. I love that song. Um, Land of Fire. And This Week Wrapped. Okay. This Week... Okay, anyways. Um, (laughs) okay. Question two. What are you grateful for? Um, something good. Um, friends. They're like the family you get to choose, and there's something so beautiful in that. That is, yes, I agree. Especially since I am never home anymore, so I understand that. Um, Weeble Wobble. (laughs) Okay, oh my gosh. Yes, I have. Okay, do you guys know those things that have, like, weights at the bottom so you can, like, like, push them over and they won't, like, fall down? I think that's a Weeble Wobble. Oh my god, those are so fun. I could literally sit there with the Weeble Wobble in front of me and be, like, distracted for hours. But anyways, okay. Getting better after being sick. I seem to recall that December, I don't know if it was December or November, but at one point everybody was sick that I knew, so maybe this was then, but I'm glad that you are better now, um, because being sick sucks, um, and alone time, which also I agree with. I am currently, it's reading week, and I am alone in my room, and honestly, it's nice. Like, there's also nobody here except for my cousin that I know, so... And one girl on my floor. So, it's kind of dead, but honestly, I like it dead. Because it's like, I don't know. I have to do my own thing and just... I don't know what I was getting at, but anyways. Okay, next question. Hack. I don't know. Okay, keep... Literally, nobody had... Okay, what the heck? Someone is being really mean, I think. Um, hack is tree i okay um there's only one that's actually helpful kind of if you wear a uniform and a belt keep your uniform belt in your pants so you don't have to reinsert it the next day okay well <laughs> okay christmas cheer um happy belated christmas i guess um in february Mary something, I don't know. Mary as in M-E-R-R-Y. Just thought I'd spell that out. McDonald's has peppermint hot chocolate. Tree. Santa. Oh my god, I know him. Okay. You know what? Okay. These all kind of suck so bad. But anyways, so... That's cool. 
Um, basically this week, we only have two, I've decided, because no one knows hacks, and I also don't know any hacks. I just wanted to share my one hack that I had last time. Um, but anyways, all we're going to be doing is the song and what you're grateful for, so, um, basically, um, my favorite song at the moment is A Little More Time by Role Model just came out it is so 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 good um and what I'm grateful for is reading week just like a break so I can catch up on all of my work that I have to do also I got to go home so I got to see my family which was nice and now I just get to live in a room alone for a couple days which also is very nice. <clears throat> it's a nice break from life at the moment. Okay. All right. So that is the segments part. On to the main portion of this episode, which is coffee. We are talking all about coffee. The good things about coffee, the bad things about coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So basically... I find that, like, so many people I know are, like, addicted to it. And it's, like, I think society has, like, normalized being dependent on coffee. Like, also, a lot of people have gotten into the habit of not getting enough sleep. And I think we've also normalized that, which is a problem to talk about for another time. Because I could go into that. I actually don't know if I could, but just the fact is that, like... People don't get enough sleep these days, so I think we've normalized um, a lot of coffee in a day. What was that sentence? We've normalized people drinking a lot of coffee in a day because we are tired, obviously. Anyways, and so and I think that is a problem because, I mean, obviously there's a lot of bad things that come with being dependent on coffee, which I will talk about later. But also, I just wanted to mention that I don't know if it's just me and because of like how old I am. But I found during COVID, it really kind of, like, blew up. Not, like, a lot. Like, obviously, people all drank coffee before it happened. But um, I just found that it kind of got more, air quotes, trendy. I don't know why I put air quotes, but it felt like it was needed there. Coffee became more trendy during COVID, especially with that whipped, the whole whipped coffee thing. Like, I just think that people started drinking coffee more because, like, especially, I don't know, a lot of, like, TikTok videos had to do with like coffee and like it looked very aesthetic so I feel like people really wanted to drink coffee because of that and it's just kind of continued on and gotten bigger especially I think for our generation like I'm 18 so I don't know if that's like correct or not but this is just my assumption is that that's kind of when it all started also because we we're making it in our own houses now instead of like going out and buying it so um that kind of has to do with nothing but anyways okay yeah, so we've basically, society has normalized literal addiction to coffee, which, like, is not good because this can lead to, like, many problems. And I find, as, like, especially as, like, younger people who got addicted to it so early, like, it can become a huge problem with, like, brain development and also just, like, habits that we form that we're going to carry on to, like, later in life. So I feel like, I don't know, I'm also guilty of this, but honestly, I don't drink that much coffee. It definitely got worse when I came to university because there's, I have a dining hall pass. And so like basically all day, every day, I have access to free coffee. So now that money is not a problem, it's kind of, I don't know, it kind of just got, I drank a lot more coffee, especially in like first term. Ooh, voice crack. Um, Especially in first term. Now I'm drinking a bit less, but um, yeah, so I find that like, I don't know, it's become trendy. I feel like a lot of people didn't get into coffee because they liked it or even they needed it. Definitely, especially, like, as I said, during COVID, when I found it got, like, more popular, we obviously had no reason to wake up in the morning. So <laughs> people could, even if they stayed up late at night, they didn't have to wake up early like they do now. Um, so I feel like people drank it more because it was trendy, and they definitely did not need it for energy at that point. But um, also just, like, as I mentioned before, the whole whipped coffee thing was definitely a huge trend because obviously no one does that anymore. Well, I'm not going to say, okay, not no one does it. I bet like people do it still, but I just have heard a lot less about it. Anyways, 
Now, I'm going to talk about the pros of drinking coffee, which, honestly, there are many pros to coffee and caffeine. One of which being, I don't know if that was a sentence or not, I'm just going to pretend it was, but anyways, one of which being art. Coffee, coffee, I don't know, in my opinion, coffee is an art. Like, it's not just, like, some people have, like, their brewed coffee and they pour it and drink it black or, like, you know, like, add milk and sugar to it, which, I mean, is very common. Also, because, like, at Tim's, you can get it cheap, just like that, but, um, I don't know, I definitely think it's an art, especially if you go to, like, high-end coffee shops, and there's lots of, like, different ways that you can make coffee, like, with steamed milk, with, um, normal milk, or, like, foam, or different amounts of sugar, different flavors, different kinds of espresso, or not espresso, cold brew, There's just a lot of ways that you can make coffee, and I find especially, I'm not a barista, I would love to be, personally, because I love making coffee and lattes and all the different things, but, um, and especially, like, if you want to take it more literally, like, if you go to a, um, a a shop and you get a latte, and they'll do latte art on the top, like, that's, like, more obvious art, but, I don't know, just, if you get, like, You go to a coffee shop and get a latte or an espresso or an Americano with oat milk or any kind of thing like that. That's definitely, in my opinion, art. So that is, that's a pro to it because especially if you notice like people have like their preferred coffee that they like to get. And I don't know, honestly, if you had a preferred type of coffee to drink, then that can tell Like, that would tell me, I would know so much about you if you just said, actually, you know what, that's one of the questions in the form. Please fill out the form in my Instagram bio for the podcast. If you drink coffee, put what your favorite thing would be to get, and then next episode, I will say what I think about those kinds of coffee, if you know what I mean. But anyways, the next pro to drinking coffee is probably the most obvious one. It gives you energy. So, like, it does help if you have to wake up early and you're tired, you drink a coffee, and, like, you immediately get energy. There are instances where this would not happen, which I will explain later, but that's probably what it's best known for, obviously, because caffeine gives you energy. So, I just, yeah, so obviously that's a an obvious pro, because that can help a lot in certain situations, like... Obviously, as I said, like, people don't get enough sleep, so if you don't get enough sleep, you can drink coffee and you'll... It won't make you feel, like, fully better, but at least you'll have some energy. Unlike, before you drink the coffee, you will not, as per obvious reasons. Okay, anyways, the last pro that I have written down to drinking coffee is that it is delicious. Like, obviously, as I said, when I was explaining how it's an art, you can customize it to your, like, your personal taste, so... It's, like, delicious. Also, obviously, like, when I was younger, I was, like, I literally k- gag at the smell of coffee. And so, like, I will never drink coffee ever. But, obviously, everyone doesn't like it. Not everyone. Oh! Brain spasm. Okay. <clears throat> obviously, not everybody likes coffee. That's not what I'm getting at. But people who drink, who do drink coffee, obviously like the taste of it. Unless they're just drinking it because they need energy, which is different, but I don't know. There's lots of different ways to customize it and stuff, which makes it delicious to your taste. And, like, it can be, like, comforting on a cold day or refreshing on a hot day. And it's just delicious, which is the last pro that I have to talk about. But, yeah, so obviously there are pros to drinking coffee. They're not all bad, but there are a few bad things about it. Is So here are my cons. The first one being the crash after you drink a coffee. Like, if you don't keep drinking coffee, like, you have a coffee, and then, like, if you're not constantly drinking it, you are going to crash, and that is probably the worst part of drinking coffee, is that, um, like, if you're at work, and you have an early morning, so you wake up, you're tired, you go get a coffee, you drink it, and you have a bit of energy, okay? But then you're at work, and you're sitting there, and you can't go get a coffee, because it's not your lunch break or anything yet, you will definitely crash, which is, like, the opposite of what you want. Um, 
but there's kind of no way to make that not happen so like obviously in the moment like when you're drinking the coffee and you get the energy like it's good but then you crash and you're more tired than you were when you woke up so it kind of is like a give and take but anyways and the second con is that you can very easily get addicted to coffee and this can be a bad thing because if you're if you don't drink coffee like you're like you can get headaches you can like get craving for coffee and like like the third con is that it's expensive so basically if you drink if you're addicted to coffee you have to have more coffee as per how addictions work obviously um but that 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 adds up especially if you're like drinking starbucks every day you know like that definitely can add up to be a lot of coffee. And if you're a person who doesn't like black coffee or just brewed coffee with, like, a bit of milk and sugar, like, that definitely will add up. But anyways, yeah. Um, And another point that I wanted to talk about is that there are certain mental health, this mental, not, uh, mental, like, disorders that um this can affect. Um, One being ADHD. So... If a person has ADHD, I don't know if anyone's heard of this before, but basically coffee has the opposite effect on your brain and your energy. And um, since people with ADHD, not, uh, I wouldn't say normally, they don't like, but anyways, they can come off as having a lot of energy and being like very um, hyperactive. Hyper, is that the right word? Hold up. Okay, yeah. Hyperactive. Um, And... I researched the science of this before, but I forget about it now. But anyways, basically what happens is that um, it has the opposite effect on their brain and it it calms them down. So a lot of people with ADHD tend to um, accidentally or not accidentally self-medicate with caffeine because it can calm you down and make you more focused if you have ADHD, which um, personally, I have ADHD and I, I don't really notice this specifically. Like it could be happening, but also like... I don't know for sure, but anyways, yeah, so it calms people down, so this would kind of, like, obviously still being addicted is not a good thing, because it's expensive, and it can have, like, adverse, this is another big word, yes, adverse effects on a person's brain, but it definitely can help people who have ADHD, so in this case, I mean, that could be a good thing, because like, it obviously won't be a good thing if you wake up in the morning and you're, t- and you're tired and you want to have a coffee because it'll just make you more tired. But anyways, yeah. The second one that I wanted to talk about was anxiety. Ooh, whoops. I just touched the microphone. Is anxiety disorder. And this is also a, um, caffeine is a huge problem. Like, it's not a huge problem with anxi- people who have anxiety disorder, but it definitely makes this worse. Because, obviously, caffeine um, makes your heart pump faster, which can increase the effects of anxiety on a person. And, obviously, that's not a good thing, because it just will make a person more anxious. So, honestly, I'm very curious as to... I've searched it up before as to the science um, with ADHD and... Like, if a person has ADHD and anxiety, like, does it... I don't know, does it, like, calm a person down, or does it make them more anxious? Like, I'm just curious, because I have no idea how it works on me. But anyways, I have one last topic I wanted to talk about, about coffee, and that is, (laughs) basically, right now, I, um, ordered adaptogenic mushroom coffee, um, and it's not, like, the scary mushrooms, it's, like, adaptogenic, which, if you don't know what that is, it's basically... Um, adaptogens are something that a person will take to help them, like, just like it sounds, help them adapt more to society. It can help them, I don't know, like, it can help a person who in day-to-day life will have a lot of anxiety get, be less anxious. It'll help the (sighs) pituitary gland. Is that what it is? I took psychology last term. Hold up. Ah. Pituitary tumor. That was not what I meant to search up. Ooh. Um, anyways, I'm not exactly sure, but basically, the part of your brain that sends out the fight-or-flight signals, adaptogens can help, um, lessen that to make you less anxious, because that's the thing that makes you anxious, is that, um, you're kind of always on fight-or-flight mode. 
obviously like there's different kinds of anxiety disorders but um anyways and also i read that it can help you um focus and stuff but there's off like there's different kinds of adaptogens um but um normally you take them like they were they've been pr- like this has been practiced for a very long time like the adaptogenic mushrooms have been being taken for a very long time and i don't know i just thought it would be interesting to see how it works um also because the coffee that i bought um it has la- less caffeine in it than a normal cup of caffeine would have which and it still kind of tastes like coffee so it's it's like i think that's a good thing cuz i need to drink less coffee which i don't drink as i said i don't drink a lot of coffee in the first place like maybe uh uh i don't know like i f- i wouldn't say it's not a lot but it kind of anyways like def- people have like seven coffees in a day like anyways i have like maybe two normally which is not bad at all um but anyways so yeah that um honestly i think it's been helping because i just find myself freaking out about less things well i don't really anyways being less anxious recently so that's um a good thing but also you have to take it for a few days in order to start noticing the effects and it's been like a week i think so anyways yeah but anyways that's it about coffee i hope you enjoyed the episode please go submit your um google form through the link in my bio because i'm very curious to see people's song suggestions um what you're grateful for and also what kind of coffee you like because i'm very excited to share my opinions on that come ne- next episode which i'm hoping will not be in 2 months <laughs> but anyways um i will see you guys um next time goodbye